So we're gonna take a look at the underbody here. We're gonna take a look at the original skid plates and how durable they are. Looking kind of flimsy. All right, we're gonna take down this factory skid plate here. So if this gets punctured, some of the important things down here are gonna be the, the front motor and high voltage wires. Okay, so this is the factory and this is the test specs. It's gonna be a lot more durable. So this material is going to take an impact and it will keep its shape. Same panel, but a lot more durable. This is gonna give you excellent protection on your motor and your high voltage wires here on the front. I'm gonna open up the back panel. So that was rocks and some debris that kind of just fell out of here as well too. Pretty cheap. This is going to be the rear motor and it's also gonna have the autopilot control, and I believe it's here in the back as well, too. Feels very durable. We got everything secured and protected. Front motors, high voltage wires, back all protected ready to go we found some popular skid plates on the market they are alloy plate cast iron plate armor light the original plastic plate we fixed the skid plate on the forklift the fragile plate is the tesla original plastic skid plate Let's see the alloy plate. Extreme distortion with the alloy plate. The next is the cast iron plate. You can see that the cast iron plate is also badly deformed. While the deformation is not severe as it is the alloy plate. Finally, let's check the armor light. Armor light fully restored after deformation. Zoom in, have a closer look. Only scratches, no damage. After reviewing the side-by-side -side comparison, how would you decide when you face with similar price range?